In this lecture, we will learn what is an interface in TypeScript and how to create and use it. Interface in TypeScript acts as a blueprint or contract that defines the structure of an object and it enforces type safety, ensuring that the object adheres to the specified format. Let's learn how we can create an interface in TypeScript. So here we will create an interface and to create an interface, we use interface keyword followed by a name for the interface. Here I'm going to call this interface as user. And again, we are following the convention where when we create a class, the first letter of the class name is in uppercase. In the same way, when we create an interface, we keep the first letter of the interface name in uppercase. So just like how we create a class, we create an interface. The only difference is when we create a class, we use class keyword. And when we create an interface, we use interface keyword. Okay. Now inside this interface, we can declare the properties and methods. An interface should not contain the implementation. It should only contain the declaration. For example, let's say the user is going to have a first name property, which is going to be of type string. Okay. So here, as you see, I'm simply specifying a declaration. If I try to assign a value to this first name, it will not allow us to do that. Okay. You see, we have an error here because an interface should only contain a declaration. It should not contain any implementation. So the property of an interface should not be assigned with any value inside that interface. So let's remove this in the same way. Let's also create a last name property. This is also going to be of type string and we should not provide any implementation here. And let's also create a method. Let's call it greet user. Again, you see here, I'm trying to provide a definition by using these curly braces. So here we have an error. Okay, because it should not contain the implementation inside the interface. When we declare a method, it should only have the declaration. It should not contain any implementation. So here, this greet user, let's say it is going to return a string value, or maybe it is going to return void. And we can also specify any parameter if this greet user is going to take. Let's also create one more method, get full name. Again, it should only contain the declaration and not the implementation. This method here, it is going to return a string value based on first name and last name. Okay, so this is our interface and this interface can act like a type. For example, let's say I have created a variable, let's say user one and I set its type as user. So later, when I will assign a value to this user one, it must match this type. So if I say user one equals some object in that object, we must have the first name property, last name property, and we must have a definition for greet user and get full name. So for example, here, let's say first name is John. Last name is Smith. Okay. And you see, we still have the error because we also need to provide the implementation for greet user and get full name. So let's say I provide the implementation for greet user also. Here we will simply use the console.log statement and they will say hello user. Okay. And let's also provide the implementation for get full name. Okay. And here we will say simply return this dot first name, this dot last name. Okay. So now that error is gone. So since we have specified the type of this user one as user, when we are going to assign an object to it, that object must have the first name property and last name property. And it also must contain a definition for this greet user and get full name. So in an interface, first of all, we can use it like a type. And in the interface, we should only have the declaration. We should not have any implementation. We should not have any initialization of properties or any implementation for methods. And also just like abstract class, you cannot instantiate an interface. You cannot create an object for an interface. Okay. All right. So here, as we learned, we can use this interface as a type, but we can do the same thing using type also. So for example, here I can simply say 
type user equals this object so here we are specifying what this user type looks like it should have first name and last name property and it should have greet user and get full name method so using this also we can achieve the same thing then how interface is different from type well we don't use interface for creating types like this let me get back our interface okay let me show you a use case so here let's remove this and let's say i have a class and i'll call this class as admin in this class let's define a constructor and what we want is for this class i want to have a first name property so here i'll say public first name so behind the scenes a first name property will be created and it will be assigned with the value which we will receive for this first name parameter and it is going to be of type string then let's also create another public property last name and this is also going to be of type string okay so for this class for this admin class we are going to have a first name property and we are going to have a last name property then i'm also going to create another class called member okay and for this class also let's define the constructor and here again we are going to have a first name property which is going to be of type string okay let's remove these parentheses from here and we are also going to have a last name property which is again going to be of type string and let me use public keyword in front of them so that behind the scenes a public property will be created for this class okay so we have two classes admin and member and for both the classes we have the first name and last name property now let's say we also want to have the greet user method okay and here let's simply say console.log and here let's say the message will be hello admin and then the name of the admin okay and same thing i want to do for member also so there also i want to have this greet user method but there in the message we will say hello member so here what we can do is since this admin class is going to have a first name property and last name property and is also going to have a greet user method we are going to make this class implement this interface and what it will do is it will force this class to have this first name and last name property and this greet user and get full name method so to implement an interface for a class we can use implements keyword and we want to implement user interface okay so when we are implementing from user interface it will force this class to have this first name and last name property and also this greet user and get full name method we already have this greet user so we have provided an implementation for greet user but we have not provided an implementation for get full name so let's also provide the implementation for get full name and it should return this dot first name plus let's add some space this dot last name okay and here what we will do is we will simply call this dot get full name okay let's do the same implementation for this member also so this member is also going to implement the user interface okay and when it is implementing from user interface it will have to provide an implementation for this greet user and get full name method and it will also have to provide this first name and last name property so we are already providing the first name and last name property let's also create that get full name method and here again we are going to call this dot get full name okay now let me create a function and what this function is going to do is let's provide a name for this function let's call it maybe display greet message okay and what we want is we want to use this function for displaying the greet message to the user okay so here for this member also we have this greet user method and for this admin also we have this greet user method and we want to use the same method for calling the greet user method of both member as well as admin class right now here if i specify let's say admin of type 
admin then i can only pass an instance of admin class here if i say member which will be of type member then i can only pass an instance of this member class to this function but what we want is we should be able to pass an instance of this member class also to this function and an instance of this admin class also to this function okay now to do that here instead of specifying the class name we can specify the interface name so here i'm specifying as user and let's also call this parameter as user and now what we can do is any class which is implementing this user interface we can pass its instance to this user parameter here so for example this member class is implementing from this user interface so we can pass an instance of this member class to this user parameter in the same way this admin class is also implementing from this user interface so we can also pass an instance of this admin class to this user parameter let me actually show you that so before that here what we will do is we will simply call user dot and we know that whichever class is going to inherit from this user interface it will have to provide the implementation for first name last name get full name and greet user method so we want to call that greet user method of that class that's it and now let me go ahead and let me create an instance of admin class and when we are creating an instance of this admin class we need to pass the value for first name and also last name okay and let's also create an instance of member class there also to the constructor we need to pass the value for first name and a value for last name okay and now let's call this display greet message and there let's pass admin so you see we are able to pass the instance of admin class to this user parameter and then again let's call display greet message and there let's pass this member so this member is an instance of member class and we are able to pass an instance of member class also to this function to this user parameter so when we have specified the type of this user parameter as user interface whichever class is implementing this user interface we can pass its instance to this user class okay and with this if we save the changes you see it says hello admin john smith and hello member okay something is wrong here okay here it we should be using a set of parentheses otherwise this thing here it will return us the definition of this get full name method so we need to call that method so we need to use this set of parentheses let's save the changes again and now you will see it says hello admin john smith and hello member mary jane so based on the type of instance we are passing we are seeing the result based on that so an interface allows us to define what are the properties and methods we want to have in a class okay so whichever class is going to implement that interface it will have to provide the implementation of all its properties and methods that class can have its own properties and methods as well okay so for example this admin class can have its own properties also for example let's say this admin class has an age property also which is of type number okay and let's set it to 30 for now so the class can have its own properties and methods but if it is implementing from the interface it must provide the implementation of all the members of that interface so in this example this admin class must have a first name and last name property and it must provide a definition for greet user and get full name method and currently this admin class is implementing only a single interface but we can also implement multiple interfaces for a class and that we can do by specifying the interface name separated by comma so let's say we have another interface called roles then we can also implement that roles interface and then this admin class will also have to provide the implementation for all the members of this roles interface also so we can implement multiple interfaces 
and always remember that you cannot create an instance of an interface now you might ask how interfaces are different from abstract classes because we can achieve the same thing using abstract classes also well in abstract class you can have some methods or properties with the implementation some methods and properties will have only declaration but some methods and properties can also have implementation but in interface you only have declaration you cannot have any implementation for any member this is the biggest difference between an interface and an abstract class so what benefits does interface give us first of all it improves the type checking the typescript compiler will catch any type errors early during the development and it will prevent any runtime issues and then it also provides enhanced code readability so interfaces serves as documentation making code easier to understand and maintain because when we create an interface we specifically tell what properties and methods we must have in a class which is going to implement that interface so there it acts as a documentation telling the class which is going to implement that interface what properties and methods it must have and it also provides flexibility and reusability so interfaces can be extended and reused across different parts of your code base so this is all about interface in typescript interface is a very important concept and it is used extensively in any programming language so understanding interface is very important and we will see the use cases of an interface we will see different examples of where we can use an interface in our coming lectures so if you have not understood a few concepts related to interface in this lecture don't worry we will learn more about interfaces as we progress in this course this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day